Hey everyone, Chris here. Welcome back. Uh, you know, after the loss of the B-58, I really, really needed a win. <laughs> I actually pulled down a project that I have been holding on to for at least five years. Uh, and so what you're looking at here, this is an F4D Sky Ray. This is a completely scratch built model out of Depron. Uh, it started out as a collaboration with my friend Brent over at Hex Speed on, uh, on YouTube, that's his channel. And so we both love the Skyray, and I actually had posted a teaser of this on social media, and I was really surprised at how many Skyray fans there were. I thought maybe we were one of few, but there are actually quite a few, and it is such a cool looking airplane. It's a classic design. It didn't actually serve very long, but such a cool and unique looking airplane. One of the few Deltas that the Navy ever operated. As I mentioned, it's completely scratch built out of Depron. Uh, I did design up a 3D printed nose and 3D printed inlets, uh, but I will say that Hexspeed did do the lion's share of the work. We started out with a plan that I had put together ages ago for the Jet Hanger Hobbies Sky Ray. And so we blew it up to the size that we wanted based on the inlet requirements to feed the 80 millimeter fan. So there are no cheaters on here. It is completely clean underneath. And also, um, if you've been following for a while, these landing gear actually came from my ill-fated Freewing A4 Skyhawk. Uh, and so, you know, repurpose where you can. Uh, but we've got the full cycling gear doors and all of that stuff in here. I do need to do a little bit more work on those doors, but working well enough for now. And so we blew this up and while I would love to go through a full engineering dissertation with slides on how we did all of this. Bueller. Bueller. I do want to mention the, the airplane has the root airfoil that came from my original design, which actually comes from the full scale airplane. It's just a symmetrical NACA airfoil. But when we built these wings, we just ran stringers out and, and literally just sanded the airfoil into the tip. World's strongest wing, indeed. <laughs> Remarkably, the airplane required zero roll trim. Uh, so somehow Brent got them fully symmetrical in, in this process, which was really quite amazing. There's a lot of that looks about right here, but it is quite scaled. The original design came from the Douglas drawings. Uh, and so, you know, the, the outline is, is actually quite good. I've got full 3D printed cockpit here that I, I did build to get this ready to fly. The other thing is that I want to mention is I have one of my new version two center burners in here. And so as a part of that, it's smart compatible and also it has multiple flicker algorithms that you can select and I actually have selected the fade flicker fade on here which I feel is probably the most representative to the airplane it's brand new just released uh, and so you can check those out on my website otherwise you know the airplane has flown it flies absolutely fantastic I love the look of the sky ray in flight I am really excited to get a bunch of flying in with this airplane and so we're going to be featuring this because from here we'll add some detail and then we'll get into painting, panel lines, weathering, all of that. I love the Skyray. I have a ton of information on the airplane that I've collected through the years. Uh, and I actually have an even bigger one that I, I'm hoping to finish up here. I do want to mention that, you know, my friend Hex Speed, we were building two of these at once. He did the lion's share of the work on this for me because at the time I was just working full time and he was in town working, but mostly not working because he had a bunch of free time. I just want to say thank you to him. We had a blast doing it at the time. Depron is a really awesome building material. So yeah, let's go get a flight in. I've got a bunch of packs. We're going to get it flown today. Did the made in late last week uh, and we weren't able to film then. Like I said, I wanted to win and I'm, this thing is a, a real winner. It's, it's a whole lot of fun. All right, let's do it. All right, here we go, taking off. Got such a cool takeoff. It doesn't take much effort to get into the air. I bring it around to a high speed pass. I'm 
and come around and do a roll. Pulling up. Come from the other direction. High speed. Such a cool look. Need to do some work on that door. It's not pulling up all the way. I'm going to go into the vertical, All right, pulling up. Coming over the top. So this is going to be a power off glide down the runway. <laughs> Pretty clean. Going up into the vertical. Pulling, pulling back, coming around. All right, we're going to set up for landing. Might end up off the runway. Maybe. Uh... <laughs> yes, made it. <laughs> All right, there she is, the F4D Skyray. I love the Skyray, I love the looks of it. Uh, and so I'm really excited to get this finished now. I've got uh, six flights on it. I do have one gear door that's not pulling up fully, so I do need to do a little bit of work on that. Uh, but otherwise, I love how it flies. It flies fantastic. I do have an AS3X gyro in here. I am still tuning the gains a little bit. It is bumpy and you could see it moving around a bit. The other thing is I am running a 6S 6250 pack in here. And I also have a separate receiver battery. So I'm not running a BEC, anything like that. And so from here, we're going to be getting some detail work done. We're going to do paint and that's all going to get featured on the channel. Uh, so be sure to subscribe to follow along with that. Thanks so much for watching. If you would like to see what happened with the B-58, you can see that whole journey here. Until next time, I'll see you at the field.